Hello and welcome to Geeket Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create a mountain in kind of all peaks almost looking on middle of the some dunes. So we'll look on some kind of complex alignment. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. And the first what I want to do is create a radial grid. So we'll go to generate it right here. We'll just put in the middle. Okay, also let me go to extension. And right now I don't really care. So I'll just put on the middle right here by extension. Okay, we'll can go ahead and um, let's set this maybe to Five, something around Maybe around 25 will be good okay now I want to go back to my layout okay and just maybe now scale just let it roughly help me to position okay and next let's go take this radial grid and connect to the mask input for the perlin. So look now how it's um, creating nicely. So on a perlin, we'll go to set to the basic, and we'll go to bring this way down, maybe like about 25 should work. Okay, it's give it us nice mountain splitting. We'll go pop up elevation higher, and we'll take our stepness and my bring to one even nice this kind of mountain peaks almost done let's go click OK and um, next I want to add more peaks and I'll use it to run I um, generator for this it's kind of nice effect okay so we go to um, modify this slightly so I want to take this and bring down to maybe like 1.2 you can see very teeny tiny peaks We'll just take a shape, play around, see yeah, I think. Kind of more distorted, it's look nicer. Okay, and we'll just keep it, click OK, and we'll take the same one and use it as um mask. So you can see right here we have it, those two mountains and a verna. So next I want to kind of work with them together. Um this is a little bit maybe too sharp. So let's do this well. Let's go to the filter and slightly apply blur to this. Right here, so to give it. Um, the reason why I'm doing, I don't necessarily like right here. You see those edges? Okay, let me show you. So I don't necessarily like these sharp right here, these edges. They look, won't be real. And when you export, the textures start kind of wrapping not very nicely so instead I'm going to pop up blur on those ones okay and now if we preview you can see they're a little bit smoother so when we start using this as a base we won't have those very sharp and ugly looking walls okay and next let's go use another generator and as means prune so right here and we'll take our and I connecting to our distribution and this one this will be our masking. So this will kind of create a nice effect of this. Let's go back and we'll take this, put it a little bit down. And I think it's too low, we need to bring higher. So we'll go bring maybe about 18 and bring step nest. Okay, here is so far what we have. We have kind of this interesting looking. You can see with where I applied, kind of like almost a rocks effect apply. So something can be on middle of the desert because the everything else is almost work. Except now we need to create them worn out, add some from the rain a little bit because still the hard rocks will stick out. But I want to create this dissolving effect around them as well. Okay, and for this one, we'll go to natural. We'll go create a root effect. Just add it. Connection. Okay, let's go to open. And I'm using standard, so I don't want to use a channel for this. Because I don't want to affect. But rock hardness, I want to bring this quite a bit. 
So I want to go maybe like about 700 even. Okay, and we'll just take segment and apply it. So it will smooth on the bottom. You can see right here and preview how much it's moving on the bottom. So I think when we start merging with the sand, this is area it's kind of nicely will start merging. So we want to bring those. And let's go also increase geological time enhance and bring this also a bit higher. Okay, we can look again on a rock hardness. We can play with this one. And you know, let me see on the channel one. So yeah, we'll bring. I think the standard will work a little bit better in this case. Okay, let's go click OK. Preview. So right here we still have this hard sticking rocks. And a little bit smoother sand can be applied on the sides. So this is overall what I'm looking for this colors. Except you know what? Maybe it is um let's switch to the channel and preview with this. So you can see it does give it a little bit better. Maybe I leave it like this because I do like how these rocks look very hard. Like around it. Okay. So here is our basic right now for our mountain in the middle. So let's go ahead in the next tutorial kind of start building our dunes.